Hey guys, welcome back to Program Hub and today in this episode we're gonna talk about virtual machines in the new MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro or M1 Max processor. So guys, if you want to use an application using which you can virtualize some of the environments, for example, if you want to use Linux, Windows or any of the environments, different operating system environments in the new MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro or M1 Max processor. So for that, you'll be requiring some softwares and which software can you use? We'll be talking about it. So currently there is only one and only one software that is available that you can use to virtualize any environment inside your MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro processor or M1 Max processor or even with M1 processor. So for all the Apple Silicon, there is only one and only one software that is Parallels. So this is the only software that is currently supported for all the Apple Silicon devices. So if you want to use a software for virtualization for Windows or for Linux, for Kali Linux, or Ubuntu or any other platform. So for that, you'll be requiring to use Parallels. And apart from Parallels, we also had some of the softwares that were available before to the Apple Silicon when the MacBooks were available with the Intel processor. So at that moment of time, we had some softwares that was supported for the MacBooks. But right now, we are not able to use them. For example, there were a few softwares that I would like to name. So there was Bootcamp. Bootcamp is currently not usable on the Apple Silicon MacBook. So if you want to use Bootcamp, that is currently not usable at all. Then we come down to some other softwares that were third party software. For example, it was VMware. So VMware was one of the most popular alternative to Parallels. And that was really one of the most demanded softwares. But now VMware is also not supported onto the Apple Silicon. So on Apple Silicon, you cannot use VMware and we had got some news that VMware is actually building up a version for the ARM64, but it's not yet released yet. So we only have been left out with one choice that is Parallels. Some of you might also be using VirtualBox. So VirtualBox was also one of the most prominent uh, softwares that was available for virtualization. But VirtualBox is also not supported. If you even go out to the website of VirtualBox, we can see that it says VirtualBox is a powerful x86 and AMD 64 Intel 64 virtualization product. So they by default, so they claim it that they are actually an x86 and AMD 64 and Intel 64 virtualization product, not for Apple Silicon. So they show no marks of development for any of the ARM 64 version of their software. So currently, if you want to use an environment inside MacBook Pro with the Apple Silicon processors, for operating systems like Windows or Linux. So you'll be needing to install Parallels and that's the only one of the best choices currently available. There are also some other third party softwares, but none of them are as good as and as compatible with the Apple Silicon as Parallels is. So if you want to use it, you can use it. And by the way, there's one good news for everyone out there. If you're a student and if you want to grab up a version of Parallels, that would be a paid version. Right now, we have got 50% discounts running on student version. So currently, the price of the subscription for students is $39. That's it. So $39.99, that's the price of currently subscription. And if you want to grab that offer, the link is down in the description below. You can go ahead and check that out. And if you've got any more such queries, please comment it down below. We'll be happy to read that and reply to you. And if you liked our video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Meet you next episode. Till then, goodbye.